I just woke up, but I'm gonna try and do a really high energy intro for you. Hi, welcome back to another few days of my life living in New York City. It took too much of my energy, I need another nap. I'm losing my mind. I was like, I'm leaving on vacation in a week. I have so much to do before I go. It's stressing me out. The last thing I can really think about right now is like going to work. I haven't even thought about what I want to wear. Nothing is clean anymore. I'm just like grabbing a thing that looks decent and smells okay at this point. I had a sweater somewhere. If you're new here, well, for one, I'm sorry that you're catching me in the middle of this meltdown, but second, hi, my name's Chelsea. I am your average 30-something living alone in New York City who just likes to make videos showcasing the very realistic sides to my life here. We are not gonna mess with makeup today. I knew this was gonna happen at some point in my training and in my everyday life with all this stuff going on that I would have had to forego makeup, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm very much giving glazed donut with a little acne. Glazed donut with sprinkles. <laughs> in this video, I try to keep a grasp on my sanity by going full on Virgo in my life. If you don't know what that means, it's like being a control freak to try and feel like I'm not a car spinning off the road super fast. But like all is great and well, I promise I am just running on fumes. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I got my New York State ID in the mail. My picture has never looked better. What do you think? I look good. Just to catch y'all up a bit, I have been busting my ass training for this New York marathon while working full time and haven't seen the inside of a bar in what feels like months. It's a long day ahead. Let's get this bread. Training is only getting more and more intense and to be completely honest, I'm psyched. I'm starting to feel super strong and like a gladiator woman going to war. The only challenge is that there are only so many hours in the day and I have been struggling a lot making time for everything. What a good problem to have though, to have so many things to do that you love that you literally don't have enough time to do it all. Anyways, we're at the office today getting my essential cup of drip coffee. I do not care what it tastes like as long as it wakes me up so that I can sit down and and schedule meetings and organize the days of my executives with laser focus. I have the luxury of having a desk next to the windows too and it's pretty quiet over here in my corner so I basically keep to myself most of the day and slice through my to-do list as fast and efficient as possible. We've got a second cup of coffee, only half a cup. It's cold in this building. It's my lunch break but I just finished my oatmeal breakfast about five minutes ago so I'm not that hungry. But this is my break so I'm using it to edit my video that's coming out tomorrow. It's 12.08, I have 50 minutes. I was like, where's my phone? It's right there. Okay, let's edit. Uh, oh, oh, uh. forgot I had a lid. Oh, hello there, good to see ya. I'm happy today's over. It is the truth. I can't even speak right. Anyways, this pimple. I didn't even know that was on my face. <laughs> hey, the fun never ends. I have to work out a few things on my posting schedule for September. It's gonna be. It's gonna be so busy. <laughs> You'll see what I mean when we get there. I have a 12 mile run on Saturday that tomorrow I'm picking up my running bib for. I've been so bad with running because YouTube has been so busy and work has been so busy. So I haven't like gone on any runs. So tonight I'm going on a run. And then Saturday you're gonna see me run this thing. I don't think I'm ready, but I don't think I'm ever gonna be ready. So I think it'll be oh, one of those things that's like good it's happening to like just pass a milestone. I'm probably gonna be up late tonight too because um, of editing. A moment of silence for my brain. We're in the thick of it. It's not gonna be like this forever. It's just really, really busy now. We're gonna be fine. I'm just overwhelmed. Take a look at the bigger picture. You in a year is gonna look back on this time and be really proud of you. That's my pep talk, everybody. Okay, let's get ready for the run. Normally, I'd be frustrated that I'm all out of clean running shorts to wear on my run right now. So it warms my heart to say the sponsor of today's video, Morris, and their portable tumble dryer saves my run tonight and my sanity and my hygiene because no one wants to run in damn shorts. Morris Zero is a portable and sleek tumble dryer designed specifically for those living in smaller spaces like New York City, for example, because not a lot of people in this city have access to laundry facilities 
facilities in their unit or in their building, which can be extremely inconvenient. The last place that I lived, I had both a washer and a dryer in the bathroom and it was so nice. And I've missed that so much to have access to do laundry whenever I need because my schedule can get pretty hectic. While it was nice to have a dryer back then, there was an inconvenience of space. It felt like the dryer was taking up the whole bathroom. A lot of us feel like we'd have to sacrifice too much room for a traditional dryer if we wanted an at-home laundry experience. At least that's how I felt. If you live in New York, you've probably experienced hauling your dirty clothes in an Ikea bag to the laundromat in the winter or trying to get your hand washed clothes to air dry in a freezing apartment. It's just nice to know that because of the innovative design of this portable dryer, we don't have to sacrifice anything at all for the convenience. I mean, if you zoom out. It takes up virtually no space and its aesthetic design actually complements my room. Isn't she cute? The Morris Zero offers eight different drying modes catering to your ever-changing laundry needs. For this moment, I will use my personal favorite ultra fast drying mode that can have a garment dry in 15 minutes which is how long it will probably take me to finish getting ready so that's perfect multitasking is my favorite but there are so many other settings that I love too smart mode which automatically estimates the drying time and adjusts the drying temperature so I can just let it do all the work there's also shoe mode that I use to dry my running shoes after rainy runs instead of letting them mildew by the door the dryer comes with a custom sized rack that is easy to place inside to keep your your shoes still and quiet in the machine so you don't bother your neighbors or anything. Shirt mode is perfect for sticking my work shirts into to get rid of any wrinkles while I'm getting ready in the morning to save me some time so I don't have to hand steam everything. In the winter, I'm really looking forward to using their warm mode, which is designed to dry bath towels and keep them warm until you're out of the shower like a little in-home spa. You can also go for an extra clean boost with sanitation mode to eliminate 99.99% of bacteria and mites just for peace of mind. There's really a setting for any instance. Despite its compact design, the Morris Zero Dryer can actually fit quite a few garments at one time. It's just been really nice saving trips to my downstairs dryer. And if there's any opportunity to not run into my neighbors, you know I will take it. Plus the added bonus of saving all the quarters I used to have to put into the machine. Each drying round was 275, which which really adds up, especially if you're doing multiple loads, which I usually do. And for pickup laundry services, it can be even more expensive. And also makes me a little uncomfortable having strangers handle your personal delicate laundry items, you know? So in the long run, the Morris Zero Tumble Dryer truly pays for itself in many ways. Woo! Oh my God! See? We are clean, we are dry, we are smelling good, and we're ready to get sweaty all over again. It's just nice now that there's finally an option for those of us in small spaces to finally have this convenience and that we don't have to sacrifice our space or our lifestyle in return. Morris is generously offering y'all $200 off by using the code CHELSEA with your online purchase. This exclusive discount ends on August 31st, 2023, after which the code will then get you $50 off. So make sure to get this discount while you can. You can find the link in my description box below. All right, let's get on with this workout. Thank you so much to Morris for sponsoring today's video. It is much later in the night. And by much later, I mean about 12.30. I think I have like another 45 minutes on it and then I'll be done. What am I feeling right now? I feel like I don't feel anything. <laughs> Like I feel like I'm just trying to get through it to, to get to my vacation coming up. I am having fun editing this though. Like there's some moments that I'm like, ah, oh. like I just really lose myself in the work. I haven't had a single night where I've gone to bed before midnight this week. It's been tough on my body. Anyways, might as well stop thinking about it too much or I'm gonna discourage myself. I probably do based on just how I'm feeling emotionally. And I started to trust the decisions I was making. I've never seen We're getting there. Okay, I think we're done. I'm just doing a final watch through of everything, making sure there's nothing I need to blur out in the video that I missed or anything, <laughs> and that everything's good. What a long day. At least my hair still looks good. It's like one, almost 1.30 in the morning. I'm whispering.
think tomorrow at work should be pretty chill. I'm hoping to get out early. What are the things I have to do before leaving tomorrow? Take out, garbage, pack up, camera, transfer, memory card footage. Actually look presentable. <laughs> Eight o'clock, we're almost ready. It's like my eyes, um, my eyelids are just like drooping over my ball, my eyeballs. <laughs> my eyeballs. Okay, I'll catch you later. I gotta go run for this train. excited for after work. I'm gonna try and be drinking a lot of water at my desk today and start to eat more carbs to fuel up because apparently it's squirrel. I love wildlife. Apparently it matters more what you eat like in the days leading up to your big run versus the actual like day. you do this too when i go from place to place in the city i get lost in my own head in my opinion the best part about riding the subway are noise canceling airpods a good song and trying not to overthink that strange smell coming from someone around you but you can't quite pinpoint who i think about my first subway ride alone when i first moved here and how amazed i was at how everyone seemed to know exactly where they were even though i couldn't find a single map on the train anywhere i think about that time i rode the subway home from work one night super late and how a strange guy sat next to me on an empty train car and how afraid I was. Okay, we got the running bib. I need to get like rice and potatoes. I need to fuel for tomorrow. I think about how scared I was to make friends here even though I wanted to so badly because it would mean someone seeing me for who I actually am and still wanting to stay. It's crazy to think sometimes how all these moments one by one led me right here to this one. Still getting around this motherfucking chicken. I have a lot to do. I think I'm gonna make a to-do list while I, while I eat. It's nine o'clock. We got mostly rice, a little bit chicken. I don't even know how I'm gonna be feeling in a month from now when I'm gearing up for an 18 miler. Charge, Garmin watch, hand wash shorts, cause I still haven't done laundry. Lay out, clothes, charge, AirPods, pack, gels, make overnight oats for the morning. So excited to pass out. I didn't think it was gonna be dark. It's so dark. I can't see anything. The sun doesn't rise for another hour. What was I thinking? <laughs> it's not a bad thing. Just logging in the dark. I have to be out of here in 25 minutes. <laughs> run too much this week this made me nervous i just read a comment that someone who's like done a marathon before uses mental tactics during these long training runs that people use to survive shark attacks which actually gives me a lot of comfort the best thing i can do for myself now is just to not think about it
camera's gonna die. So I'll see you on my way there. Ah! Right hip might be an issue today, but I just jogged a little bit and I'm gonna, when I get to the course line, I'm gonna stretch it out and see if that helps. I'm loving these training runs offered by New York Roadrunners. They are really great because I still feel like I'm running with a group without feeling pressured to go a certain pace or to talk to anybody. Is anyone else out there strictly a solo runner? Running in groups to chat sounds like the least fun ever, but maybe that's just me. Almost like 3.75. We're going uphill. We're going to the strike. Are you okay? Tell me a good story. Keep your mind off of this hill. I'm feeling okay. I had to pee basically from the second I crossed the start line. I kind of forgot about it until now. So. I finished strong, like I started slower, but I finished right within the pace that I want to be running the marathon. Maybe a little slower. I feel really good about that. Wow, my hips hurt. Just did like the best hip stretch. That was wild. Pat on the back for that. We did it and so much fun stuff happened during that race. Well, my hips were just not, they were not that, they no, they were bad. But the stretch after, phenomenal. I also learned a lot about mental toughness. Just the fact that this is just a training run 12 miles, like six months ago, maybe less than that, I was running 13 and that was like, the event. This made me realize how mentally tough I've become. When my body wants to quit and stop, my mind doesn't. Like my mind is solid and I feel like that's what's gonna get me through the rest of this. Today's training run was the halfway point for my training. So it feels great to have accomplished that. It feels really good, you guys. For me right now, as I'm filming this, I have a couple more days to get my together before vacation. But when this video is coming out, I'll be on my way almost and I'm gonna be taking some time off so there's gonna be a little bit more space in between this video if you're watching it in real time than my next one but the big updates are coming for you in September. I got some fun news for you. There's ants all over. Go away. If you like this video make sure to hit the thumbs up button. If you want to comment and say hi I would love that and if you haven't already make sure to hit that subscribe button. Okay I'll see you in my next video. Love you. Bye!